gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now I got blood on blue Balenciagas what it do YouTube my name is bear witness and today we're gonna be talking about 2k19 first things first I want to say hope you guys are having a nice day now let's jump right into the video I want to go ahead and elaborate further on takeover before we do anything else now this is probably gonna be the juicier part of the video everything else is kind of focused around bit builds so let's get into it first things first you build the takeover meter to the activation threshold when you're ready to use it, it does not activate like it did in 2K17. You have to activate it yourself by clicking the right thumbstick. No matter what your console you're playing on, uh, I'm not really sure what that alternates to if you play 2K on PC. Um, but I don't think anybody does that. And if they do, they should really think about playing on a console. So there's that. But if you decide to wait and miss a bad shot, get a foul, turnover, anything like that you lose your progress and have to start all the way over so as soon as you get it you want to activate that now if you're in 94 both your primary and secondary activate together so like I said guys the builds this year are gonna be crazy because you really get to feel that secondary at like attribute so that's gonna be awesome your secondary archetype is going to actually have a big role in this year so I'm pretty excited about this and Mike Wayne goes on to further say that yes Pures will get a longer takeover. So if you're a pure slasher, your takeovers last longer. So you can get definitely hit. By the time you also hit 94, your takeover is going to be pretty significant, if not ridiculous. So I think they might nerf that later on because I feel like that's not something the community is going to take too lightly because that's where the skill gap is really going to come into play because when you're hot, when you're on, it's going to be ridiculous from that point on. So hopefully, hopefully... We, uh, it's not too broken, and we still have the balance 2K that we think that we're going to get. I'm pretty excited about that myself. Now, for slashers, uh, and actually a Twitter user goes on to ask him what the best slasher build could possibly be, and such, yada, yada, yada. And he goes on to say, I'd go slashing primary and either shot creator or playmaker secondary. Now, if you're a slasher like me, I don't like to try to struggle at getting around people. Yes, when you're playing against people in the park, it is very easy to get around people based on the fact that half the people don't necessarily know what they're doing in a situation where they need to play defense because, you know, either they play two back and you get the easy mid range because they're trying to keep you from getting to the goal or things of that nature. So if you got a good mid range, I say, me personally, I'm going to go with trying to break ankles and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to try to hit 94 because I want to see exactly how wild I can run when it comes to breaking ankles and dunking on people. I think that will become the best highlights for 2K19, and I'm super stoked about it. And if you guys have a build that you guys have in mind that are going to work like that, like how your two archetypes are going to be broken at 94 make sure you guys hit my comment section with that because that is something that i want to talk about i am so curious of what you guys are going to be making this year so remember hit those comments now he goes on to say for you shooters out there because i, I feel like i don't take enough time to talk to you shooters to you shooters out there you're near man i i, I know i keep cutting myself off but I cannot tell you how many times this became a problem last year and how I constantly heard people bitching about this. Now, he goes on to say, near perfect releases are higher percentage than last year, but not automatic. Timing is much less forgiving on higher difficulties and competitive modes. So at least in the park, when you have those full whites, there is a higher percentage for you to hit those because last year it was like it was almost non-existent half the time and a lot of people everybody was searching for the perfect greens because everybody was like man my full whites just don't want to go in and this is stupid shooting has has improved for you guys you guys don't have to worry about the full white cheese you guys are absolutely straight this year but alas that's the end of the video guys I will see you guys next time I get more information. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do something. Like the video. Dislike the video. Whatever you guys want to do, feel free. Also, if you guys are not a part of the Bear Squad, make sure you guys click that sub button. Because I will be producing 
almost 100% 2K19 content. So if you're a slasher, if you want the cheesiest stuff to be doing, if you guys want information, I am the place to go. So like I said, hit the sub button, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tin and blue Balenciaga.